Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to part 68 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And, um, in between these parts, in between recording sessions actually, um, I thought I was trying to think of things that I could do before moving on to the next temple. And there's really nothing to do with the Megaton Hammer other than a few things that I already did. So, we are just going to proceed with the Water Temple. Yep, already we're going to another temple. What do you know? What do you want, Nabby? Yeah, those iron boots, yes, they will weigh me down in water. Awesome. Okay, so to get into the water temple, um, well, obviously you want to go to Lake Hylia like I am right now. And, uh, right down here, there's this weird gate. How do you open that gate, you might ask? Well, you take out your hookshot. That cuckoo just sounded really freaking sick or something. It's like, <laughs> whatever. So you hit that with your hookshot, and it will ma cause the gate to magically rise. Yay. Alright, and with that, we will start the most annoying temple maybe in the history of Zelda, in a lot of people's opinions, the Water Temple. Oh yes, I have bad memories of this place. Um, I don't really have a... Like a, well, I kind of do have a plan on how to do this, but basically, I'm just going to kind of wander around because I haven't done this temple in so long that I can't forget what you're supposed to do first in the first place. So let's just go over this way. All right. Oh God. All right. Put on your iron boots. Yeah, you're going to be doing that a lot in this temple, taking, putting on, and taking off your iron boots and stuff. It gets old fast. Trust me. Okay. It looks like we can pull this out. That's neat. Nice. Uh, a few notes about this temple that I should make. Um. Uh, what was I gonna note about this temple again? Damn, I forgot. Whatever. All right. But oh yeah, yeah, one thing is that you don't actually need the Zora's tunic to do this temple. You can do it without it, provided you have enough hearts to survive underwater for long enough. Uh, yeah. And um, anything else that I was thinking of? Other than this is an extremely annoying temple, that, and of course we all already we all already know that. All right. Ah, oh, can I do anything over there? No, I need a key. Erg. Yeah, that's what pisses me off about this temple. It's because like you always think that you're going and going and doing so good, and it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna beat the water temple finally, and then bam, locked door in your face. You don't have a key, and then you have to go and find where you went wrong in getting your keys. Yeah. And so, in this temple, I'm essentially going to steal, like, my plan is to steal Nintendo Capri Sun's strategy, where he, he used Four Wars of Wind to get around, because that seemed like a very simple and quick way to do this place. Okay, and, oh, what? Oh my god, it's, uh, Zora. Oh, you, if I'm right. Argon? Yeah? You're Argon, aren't you? No. It's me, your fiance, Root. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, long time no see. Um, I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. Uh, no, it, neither did I. Yeah. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. Sorry, I was sleeping. But now is not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's domain, totally frozen. Oh, I know. I like. Seriously, we see eye to eye, man. That sucks. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. Actually, your father's okay. I freed him from the red ice, so whatever. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me, the woman who's going to be your wife. Oh, so it's like until death do we part and I have to like do everything that you say? Whatever. Argon, you have to help me to destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? And how about you help me destroy the evil monster in the temple? I'm going to be doing all the work. And yeah, there are three places where you can change the water level, and those will get annoying. I'll lead the way. Follow me, quickly. And then she starts swimming up, and that's the last time you actually see her. You don't see her at any other point in this temple. Yeah. So, whatever. Cameo by Princess Ruto. Except it's not really a cameo because she's part of this game. But basically, she you do want to follow her. Just float all the way up to the top here. Yep. 
yeah, so the three places as that in the temple that can change water, as you might imagine, you can change it to being as high, yeah, a high point, a middle point, and a low point. And I think the low point is just no water at all. And oh god, these things. I hate these things. Erg, die. Oh yeah, I can't kill... I can't kill rocks with my sword now, can I? Oh, did I, well I guess I just did. Okay, dude, do something. Do something productive, okay? Use the hook shot like you normally do. Okay, that's one. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so basically you just want to use the... You can use the hook shot on these guys until they die. And that's how you do that. And it will unveil a special little chest. Oh, actually, a special big chest. God. Okay, let me just check my timer here. Alright, six minutes-ish. Okay, open the chest, dude. Open the chest. What's gonna be inside? Oh my god, can we get the item for this dungeon already? That would be awesome. But, no, it's just the dungeon map. Oh, and I thought of another note that I was gonna make about the water temple. Um, you don't actually... You're not required to use the megaton hammer at all anywhere in this temple. So technically, you can do this temple before the fire temple. But it's not in sequential order, so whatever. Anyways, so, um, spots so that you can change the water will look like this, the Triforce symbol on the wall. You just go up to them, and you, and you play, um, Zelda's Lullaby, because that's what you, what you do whenever you see Triforce. I shouldn't be telling you this now. This is like, what, episode 5 stuff now. Just see Triforce play Zelda's Lullaby. Pretty much it. Alright, and this is going to be the first instance where we're going to use, where we going to use, no, where we are going to use, for War's Wind to create a warp point for ourselves. Alright, so here we go. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> um, that's, that's not good. Um. Oops! I'll meet you back at the water temple. See you in a second, guys. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. Okay, guys, we're back in the water temple now after that little blunder. Um, please just forget that ever happened. But basically, what just happened there is, um... Well, you I don't need to tell you what happened. You saw it for yourself. But that actually completely ruins my strategy for this because I needed to create the warp point at the top of this room in here. And now I can't do that because the water level's not high enough. So I'm going to have to do this the normal way without Furore's Wind. Boo on that. I will I don't think... Oh my, oh my god, I only have 14 arrows. Well, that's because the post side quest, that's right. Alright. Okay, so yeah, as you see, this is what you basically have to do in this room. Is to light those two torches, just like that, by shooting fire arrows at them. Well, technically not fire arrows. They're arrows that start off non fiery but they go through a fire. And they don't just burn away, they actually continue. And they carry the flame with them. Awesome. Oh god. What do you want? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, don't come at me. You noob. Do something. Oh god. Yes, I killed you. Yeah, that's basically the game with you guys. You get close to them, and you either hit them with arrows. Ow. You hit them with arrows or their or the hook shot before they come at you with their butts. With their spiky butts. Get, get away from me! You knew. There, now you're dead. How does it feel to be dead? I'm sure it doesn't feel good, because you're dead now. And dead, dead isn't fun. Oh, look at that. And that will unveil a small chest here. What will be in a small chest? It will be what you expect. A small key. Small chest, small key. So redundant, but it works. Alright. Okay, so we're done with this area now. We can't do much here anymore. Um, let me think. Oh, I actually, we're just, uh, you don't have to go this way at all right here, I don't think, to complete the temple, but there is a sculpture that you can get by going this way. So you're definitely going to want to do this if you're going for all the sculptures. Or if you're just going for 50 sculptures and you don't have 50 by now. Which you could most definitely should because come on I have 73 you can get at least 50 am I right all right oh encroaching upon 10 minutes here let's see what's gonna happen oh it's a it's another clan thing
but it's dead now. No big whoop. Uh, dude. Okay. And put on the Kokiri boots again, because that makes us much more buoyant. Yay. Come on, Link. Oh, close up. Close up on Link's back, side, whatever. whatever. Alright, so let's just climb up here now. And, um, in the next episode, we are going to press the switch to see what happens. So, thank you everybody for watching the first episode of the ever-dreaded Water Temple that I completely fatal on because of that bl that blunder. That oh my god, I still can't believe that it happened. <laughs> Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.